Hello and what's up Madlang people? Uh, we're back again. I think this is getting really intense now with this tutorial. Um, right, I'll explain. It started with the Zoom G14, Hank Marvin's patch. It was a quick um, um, editing. And then uh, I found out that uh, Sir Mac Makatindig wants it on Zoom G1X on. So I researched managed to make the patch using Zoom G1X on. Now we got a new request, Sir um, Erwin Sota. Um, he wanted the exact um, patch that we did on Zoom G1X on, can it be done on Zoom G1 4 or his pedal is Zoom G1X 4. Right, so as you have heard there, we try to recreate or duplicate the sound of that Zoom G1X on patch, uh, Hank Marvin of the Shadows. And uh, now we are going to put it here. Okay, let's crack on. This is how we are going to do the patch. I told you before that my Zoom G14 sort of Hank Marvin patch is the glitter clean. But then when I researched and managed to um, create the actual Hank Marvin uh, patch on my Zoom G1X on, that was also requested by Makmakatindig. So initially I did it here. Makmakatindig requested for Zoom G1X on. Then I sort of copied this one to my Zoom G1 X on. It didn't work. I made um, I researched and made the patch from there. And now I'm trying to copy the patch from my Zoom G1 X on, as requested by user uh, Erwin Sota, back for our Zoom G14. Right. The way to do it so that it's gonna be easy is go to your patch 30, which is glitter clean. Click settings. And then save and then you need to choose which um, patch you're going to save this one so I put it on 29 or whichever patch number you want to put this say okay and then in order to save that patch you need to press both of these pedals together there we go complete now we'll exit from here so your glitter clean is also on 29 and on 30 we're gonna edit this one so click edit and then the way to do it is because this pedal doesn't have a stereo delay so we will put two delays for this particular patch and what's gonna happen is this modulation delay, I will edit it as well as the comp, the compressor. Okay, so let's go to the edit settings. So comp will change it into, um, hang on, here's the delay, not that one, not that one, analog delay. And then the other one which is modulation delay we will change it into my favorite tape echo delay right now you can manage to set the two delays by turning one off so let's turn this one off first go back to tape echo and then when you try you are only hearing the tape echo so time uh, the same as my Zoom G1X on, we'll put it to 4, 490. There we go. Feedback, we will put it low, like 35. And then mix, we'll put it to 50. There we go, just a balance. And then that's also off. 
right try that one if you're happy with the tape echo you can turn that one off come back to this one so when you try to turn it on and off you just press the button here it's on now and our time for our analog delay we'll put it to 200 um probably 210 it was i think 200 on the other one on g1x on but here let's just put it on 210 there we go time 210 feedback we'll put it like 40 so that we can hear the repeat mix so that it's also um prominent we'll put it on 70 and this time we'll turn the tail on I don't know exactly if you're going to ask me about the tail, what's the purpose of that. <laughs> but I find that if this is on and the other one is off, there's some difference to it. Right. We've got that one. And I think the plate, we will lower it the same as my Zoom G1X on. It's so that the, the delay already is sort of making that reverb sound it ripples if we put too much plate reverb it will be a bit um echoey so we'll remove we'll lower it right so that's it but i wanted the chain of effects this one chain so i click settings and then chain so chain is here this area we will rearrange it I want that the amp, then the speaker cabinet, and then our two delays are together. So this one, our analog delay, and then I'll put it here. So they swapped now. So we've got our amp, because the way the chain runs is from your guitar, it goes to your amp, amp goes to the speaker, speaker, got the analog delay, the tape echo delay, and your reverb. So that's... How it is um, going although from here if you look at it your guitar is guitar input is from here going out through here going to your actual amp but on the screen it's from left to right okie dokes the more you change your uh, effects in the chain in the pedal chain it creates another so sort of tone and then because we've rearranged that, we can now rename it. So we will tick this one, patch, patch, and then this glitter, we will change it into the, so this is for the letters. This is to move the cursor. This is to change it, hmm, delete. This one will delete it just explore the the buttons guys like this one change it to big letter there we go the third um because this is the value the volume of your patch this is for the letters and then go to s and then move h and then move this one we can change it into there we go a move d move up oh, sorry d o. and then move o move then small letter shadows move s and then move remove that one delete then just click this one and you got your the shadows and then you get your glitter clean okay that's it and also guys i will put a link for um sir erwin sota's um youtube channel which is um classic rock songs he's a very good guitarist um he covers a lot of guitar solo so yeah check his channel guys
thank you so much guys for watching and for those of you who are new to my channel uh thank you so much for your support and please if you can subscribe and then press that notification bell so you get notified each time i post new videos um god bless guys and see you again soon bye for now